Hey guys, welcome back to Tommy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So this is actually part four of my TTO2B project performance series I'm doing and uh, we're getting to the sharp end of it now. Um, since you last saw this, the only thing I've done, which I spoke about in the last video, I've painted the springs white. These are the standard TTO2B DFO3 hop-up shocks and the springs are uh, gold. Now, I'm not the first to do this. Um, I'm not claiming I am. Um, but I spoke to a couple of other gentlemen who've done it in the past and they say it works great. All I did was I just cleaned the springs off and then used, obviously PS paint is a must, don't use TS weight paint because they need to move obviously the shocks and TS will just crack. Whether the PS will crack in the future I have no idea but as I say early indications not a problem at all and they look so much better in white. So that's the only thing I've done with the car since you last saw it. Now the Penguin body set has, has um, arrived so a massive shout out to Penguin Custom Bodies. They're in the UK. If you don't know them they're on eBay and they're on Facebook. It's a lovely gentleman who runs it. His prices are great. The quality is superb and um, he's got a vast range and not just Tamiya, he, he does all the other different various from vintage to modern day racing body shells and wings so check Penguin out, very good quality. So I've ordered, the, the, the original plan for this car was obviously um, it, this car came to me as a stand, bog standard Neo Scorcher, massive shout out to Christopher if you're watching my friend. Um, but my, my plan was, once I got all the chassis tricked up so I could be able to sort of get it onto a racetrack to have some fun with it, I wanted to try fit the, well, I wanted to fit the TRF um, 511 stroke 503 body set to it. Now, um, that can be done, not a problem. But there's, all, there's a massive issue with the TTR2B and that's the, it's got a large rear shock tower and it's I've only ever seen one with a, one standard sort of wing mount and it's way too high so if you put well whatever body you use if you put any other wing on that's higher and long bigger than these they, they're, they're way too much angle on them and they don't look great if I'm honest or that's my personal opinion on it so the sticking factor for this was would I be able to um, make a different wing mount for it and I've done it and did it all off camera because before I started this video if I hadn't have made, been able to do that this video would have been pointless so I'm super chuffed with what I've come up with which I'll show you in a minute um, so that allows me to put the Tamiya racing wing on and I cut out the TRF 511 503 um, body now here's the thing once and I'll show you when I bring a camera over once I put the new wing mounts on and I put the Tamiya racing wing on it. It's not a Tamiya racing wing, it's a penguin wing. Wait, it's a penguin wing, but it's extremely close to in shape and size to the Tamiya racing wing. Once that's on the Neo Scorcher, the Neo Scorcher looks really cool. Way better than this, in my opinion. Um, and then obviously I fitted the TRF shell to it and I was like, I honestly don't know which one I like. So before I made this video, I, I, I put it out on my Facebook group and this morning I actually put it out, or this, this video is not in real time, but in actual time I put it out on Instagram. And it's a very mixed bag. People, Some people are going go for the Neo, others are saying go for the 503. The problem I had was when I put the racing wing on the Neo with the Neo body, this shell is very, very similar to the DB02 Leonis in shape, forward carbon, the general shape of it. And I, I started to go down a rabbit hole with it and forget what this project actually is. I was then thinking, why don't I order some reproduction DB02 decals, get the yellow, because it's kind of a TRF effect, get the yellow change for maybe orange or green and do it like that in a two-tone two -tone colour. But then I was thinking, well, I've got a, I've got a DB02 Leonis to build um, already and I don't want a car looking very similar to it. It's a bit pointless, although it would look great. But then I'm, then I'm thinking, why are you going down this rabbit hole? This is supposed to be a car that you can bash about, have fun with, get it on a track, just have fun with it. And all of a sudden I'm going in and trying to make it like a showpiece. Do you know what I mean? That's not what this project. So I've reeled myself back in and we're going to go with the um, 503 shell. So that's enough dribble. These videos are supposed to be short, so I apologise for that. But I think it's important you get the understanding of this body shell. So I'll bring a camera over. I'll show you how I've built and created this wing mount and then I'll show you the with the racing wing on and I'll, I'll even show you with the two different body sets on. Right, so before I change anything, this is a standard setup um, 
bog standard Neo Scorcher, which, you know, it looks good. But again, for me, the reason I wanted to change a wing, this thing flaps around with a bit of paint on and some decals, it would have a little bit more strength to it. But um, yeah, I think as you're getting some speed up, this thing is going to move a lot, which I didn't really want. And then just quickly from that side. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the wing mounts I've created. Right, so this is my solution for the um, rear wing mounts. So what I did, obviously the the, the standard one goes on the, um, on the back of a shock tower. But again, you know, anyway, what I did was I cut these two spaces out of some solid plastic, uh, tubed plastic. They're about, about 11 mil long in length. Um, and then I've got my TD4 long wing mounts. And then what I've done was I drilled through the tubing and I've got a, a big bolt that goes all the way through everything right into the bottom of the chassis where the gearbox, rear gearbox cover is bolted down. Um, and that gives, these are solid. These are really solid, so I'm really happy with that. Um, obviously, if, you, if you're gonna try to copy this or whatever, you're, gonna, you're not gonna have these. I was lucky enough, because the kit, the TD4 comes with short and long, and I just used a short. But also, I can get the wing higher and lower um, messing with these spaces but I think I've got it just about right the only issue I have I've had to put a little bit of foam on the back of them just to give the wing a little bit more angle so I'll show you that now and what I should have said um, you have this so this is the penguin racing wing you do have to cut it out for the shocks it's a little bit rough at the moment because as I said I've only just tried it it was like a suck it and see to see if I could make it fit and more importantly if I could make it fit what it looked like so I'll bang this on the car now so this is what this new arrangement gives us. I say I'm, I'm really happy with this. It um, it just allows you to take the car up and do a lot more with it. Um, plenty of clearance from the rear wheels to the bottom of the, the wing. The way I've attached it is, I'll show it upside down so you can see it. So we've got the form, just jacking the back end up a little bit. And then I've got these large black O-rings which pushes it down and then obviously just body clips. But um, yeah, that, just move that camera back. I might need to put a little bit more angle on it yet, I don't know, but um, you can't, can't really dis determine that until um, the, what it, the body shell's painted. But um, yeah, I just think, even, even though it's got the cutouts of the shocks and that, I just think it looks absolutely superb. So that's it back with the neon, neon, neo scorcher shell on. And again, I, I know it's probably difficult to see, it probably needs to be on the big screen to get the full effect, but that that wing now makes a hell of a difference, makes it look more of a, a proper racing car, if that makes sense. But as I said, this just reminded me of a DBO2 now because the DBO2 has a racing wing on. And I was really thinking, yeah, this, this could be the way forward instead of using the, the 503 shell. But um, what I'll do now is I'll swap it over and put the 503 on. That there is a problem. This sh obviously this is a kit shell, so it fits perfectly. It's meant to go on. There's a lot of um, gap between the chassis and the shell. I have got it pinned down quite tight, so it's not. It does. It wouldn't rattle around, but nevertheless, there's, there's some huge gaps between the chassis and the shell. So this is what I'm calling the TRF 503 shell, but it was first seen on the 511. It's a very gene generic racing shell from Tamiya, but um, I think it can be painted to look really good. You get pretty much sort of free license to do the windows however you want, but as you can see, it's, it is fairly basic. There is some shape to it. Now, obviously, you cut this to fit the TTO2B. It is different from a TRF 503 if you were you know you don't just cut it the same i've taken a little bit more off the back here for the rear arms and i've taken more off at the front here for the because the steering was just because the steering turnbuckles were just catching on the edges you use the normal tto2b front mount and i've actually found a way of using this the rear mount by this hole now it's, it's a little bit different how I do it, as you'll see. But um, what I'll do now is I'll just bang this shell on the car. Right, I'll try to do it on camera so you can see. So that goes over the front. So front goes down, and that's on its lowest setting at the front. Now, this back here, I hope you can see it, the um, body post has been cut already, so it's way down. So if you had the standard body post longer, obviously we could, it would 
well, I was going to say it'd be better, but I don't know. Because if you watch what, if I, if I push down on here, what happens is the shell goes into position. Did you see that? So you are putting a little bit of pressure on the back end, but not a great deal. So I'll press it down again and then just put that body pin in. So I'm doing round, just round the camera, which is never good. Um, and that looks pretty good. Now, obviously, I've not trimmed the sides. There's quite a bit to come off the sides. Again, it's got a little bit of roll. But with this shell, um, I would be doing basically full Velcroing down the sides as well. I would keep the body post just for position. Um, probably just trim that front down one hole. Um, but you get sort of the gist of it. And then quickly from that angle... Um, I think looking, I'm looking at this phone screen as I'm taking this video and the rear wing doesn't look to have enough angle on it, but from where I'm sat looking at it, it's plenty. I think when you paint, when it's painted, we'll see that better. So that's kind of the overall look. And as I said, I'm dropping the Neo body and I'm going with my, what I originally planned for this car because this wasn't about doing a pretty looking car. This is about something I want to run and bash around. And if I get dents and bumps and lumps on it, then it, you know, it doesn't matter. And again, I can replace the shell and wing very easily. They're always in stock at Penguin, should um, I damage them. Now, there is one problem, as I said. The Neo, is, the Neo f is made for this. This isn't. Now, the let's see if we can get this on camera. In fact, we can't. Right, so the TTO2B chassis isn't symmetric. So you can see it's completely flat down this side, and then it's got this this ridge. Oh, I'm trying to get this in camera. I do apologise. Got this ridge at the back, and then this big bit that comes out. So the downside of that is when the car is sat there, as I've got it now, it's it's leaning to one side. Just put it down a bit. So it's it's off to one side. You have to press it down, and that's because this lump on the on the chassis is just pushing it out slightly. So obviously with Velcro, we can straighten that up and that's the next job to do. Now, with that said, it is about sort of Velcroing it and making sure we can. So on this side, it's dead straight. Um, so a runner Velcro along there, once it's in position, that's gonna go nicely. This side, unfortunately, is a, a little bit more work, as you can see, because of the shape of it. So what I would have to do is sort of maybe run some foam down here first to roughly the same size as this either side and then run Velcro all the way across. What I'm going to do is, before I put any paint on it, I'm going to make sure, um, first of all, I'm going to tack it on in the correct position. Then I'm going to make draw the cut lines for the bottom so I can um, get the cut lines top and bottom done. Um, and then once it's packed out, I'll be able to see if it's definitely a goer. And that's the only stage now that can fail, which won't allow me to use this shell. Don't get me wrong, if I, if I wasn't running it hard, this would be absolutely fine, not a problem. But I want it to be perfect. Um, so yeah, let's get that shell tacked up. Right, so that's the body trimmed now. Obviously, as you can probably see, just two bits of Velcro in there. On this side, it's just straight onto the chassis because it's flat all the way. And then on the other side, this is where the hump is on the chassis. So I put two pieces of foam underneath, first of all, to, it packs it pretty much together. And then two bits of Velcro to tack it down and then trim it again. It needs sanding and whatever. But um, yeah, that's, uh, that's better. And obviously what that's done now is it's kept the shell straight. Now this is not straight, so if it looks a little bit lopsided, that'll be why. But I think as you can see, that looks pretty cock on. Um, so that is awesome. So next up now, um, I've got to remember I do have to trim it, but um, I think we need to try figure out how what kind of windows we're going to put on and get those masked. Right then, that was easy enough. So my free hand is absolutely disgusting, as you can see. But um, yeah, I've obviously I've got the five hundred three shell painted. So, and they're both penguin shells, so it's a perfect fit. So I just um, drew round um, to give me the lines I wanted, cause, <clears throat> excuse me, I really like how this has been done by Craig. Shout out to Craig if you're watching my friend. Um, so yeah, happy with that. So let's get that masked up now. Right, that's it masked. It's not perfect, but it doesn't need to be for what this project is for. It's, uh, it's close enough, I think. So, 
sorry for the noise. Um, yeah, I need to figure out colours now, or colour. And I really haven't a clue. I'm thinking just going to blast it over in white. Um, and I'll just add some stickers, any old stickers I've got, to be honest. Try and make it look a little bit like a race car if I can. Um, tempted to keep the wing clear, but probably not going to, because I kind of always regret it when I do that. Then I thought maybe keep the main wing clear and just do the, the wing sides white, or vice versa. But I'm not so sure. I think I'm just going to blast it all over in white. And in fact, if I do that, that means I have to mask the wing because the protective film's on the outside. So what I can do, I can leave the protective film on here, make a cut either side, take that film off, and then spray that white. And then when that's dry, then I have to, God, oh, it's a ball like doing this, and then run masking down the side, mask all this off, and then spray the sides. Oh, God. Right, I won't bore you with that. I'll come back when it's finished. Right, blasted over in white. Um, masking's pretty shocking if I'm honest I, I kind of am in bodge mode at this, for this I'm not that bothered about how it kind of ends up looking it's going to look decent but it's not going to be a show car that's not the point of this so I am kind of rushing um, so yeah, looks nothing at the moment but um, next job is I've got a little bit of tidy up to do there but basically all I'm going to do next the protective film's off now uh, I'm just going to run some black um, detailing tape around the windows um, while it's drying. Wing completely white, and I'll show you how much I was rushing. I've got nasty run marks. <laughs> it's not like me, but um, what the hell, it really doesn't matter on this one. And I'm just starting to cut some decals out. Um, sorry, I'm just moving the camera. Probably put those on the wing sides. That's definitely for the top. I'll just copy what I did with that one because I like that. Um, I am thinking, I've cut this Tammy Legends one out, thinking that may be for the wing. And then I'm probably just going to try figure out some starburst decals down the sides. But again, well, it's a suck it and see. Anyway, um, what I'll do now is I'll get the window surrounds on. Right, that's looking much better now. Just that fast tracks um, tape. It's not perfect, but. Um, it um it you know it brings a shell alive which is awesome so much paint on the inside i keep touching it and there's dollops of wet paint shocking i really should have took a little bit more time with this one but uh, nevertheless so yeah what i'll do now is i'm just going to play about with decals so i'll come back when i've figured something out but um i don't think it's going to be great but um i have fun doing this bit Right, so that's the wing. So again, just bear in mind, this is just leftover decals I have. But um, i put the two stars on either side. Oh, I don't know, I might take them off, but it looks okay. I'm just going with TRF over there. And then the main shell, again, just leftovers. But I think it looks pretty cool, to be honest. Um, I'll put the smaller starbursts on. We've got Tamiya Legends and then just some like sponsorship stuff. Not too sure about this Tamiya yet. Um, again, you know, this... It's not about looking great, but uh, it doesn't look bad. Not sure about that roof star. Don't know if I'll keep that one. Um, but um, anyway, yeah, let's get it on car, see what it looks like. Yeah, so already I'm liking that. Now the wing's painted. I, I am definitely glad I've painted it. Yeah, I'm liking that. That ticks a big box. That looks like a race car now. That looks great. What do you think guys? Stick in the comments what you think. I'm definitely a fan of that. It just, um, yeah it looks great from all angles actually. Quick side view. Yeah. Me happy. That's exactly what I wanted. It's actually better than I wanted. So we've got, um, the shell fully velcroed down now. Um, see if I can show you that. See if that'll stand up. I'll just pull the camera up. So obviously this is a bit with the hump on the TTR2 chassis. So we've raised that with foam to match the hump. And now we've got velcro in those two positions. And then two pieces of velcro up here. So it doesn't even need body clips. Which is um, was kind of the idea. Although I will keep the body clips in. Right, so I'm happy with that. 
I may make a few small changes as we go, but again, it's not about really look, well, I was going to say it's not about looks, it kind of is about looks because I want it to look like a race car, but I, it doesn't have to be the prettiest thing, you know, but it, it don't look bad, I've got to say, considering it's leftover decals. Um, yeah, as I say, stick in the comments what you think, it's, for me, I don't, you know, I'm not trying to be big headed, but it's the best looking TTO2B I've ever seen. Uh, I've got to be honest. Uh, now I know there's a, a lot of love for the actual kits, you know, the Neo Scorcher and things like that. So I'm not saying it's so, sort of. I'm not trying to compete with like box art, but as a bit of a custom thing, this is completely badass. So all we've got left to do now, um, we're just waiting for that. Um, what do you call it speed tuned gear set to come, so I can alter the gear ratios and different spurs, different pinions, as soon as that arrives, we'll get that fitted, we'll sort the um, play on the prop shaft, we'll, we'll really tighten that steering up, and then we'll get the electrics in it, and then that's the car basically finished, and then it's out for its first test drive, so I can't wait. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, it's massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel, and this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, you could maybe give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification buzzer for our weekly videos, that'd be awesome. So my friends, that's one seriously trick and badass looking TTO2B. I like it. Happy ass seeing.